Hi everyone, so I've got another haul for you today. So this is a mixture of Sweaty Betty and Lululemon items, both um, hot off the press really. I went into the Lululemon in Manchester today. The sale had apparently just started yesterday, so that's always a dangerous time to go in. And then Sweaty Betty, um, I've just received a few things in the post today as well. So um, places obviously starting to do their summer sales, which is exciting. So yeah, I, I mean, for me, Sweaty Betty and Lululemon just have the best quality and I don't mind spending a bit more on their items because I think they last really well. And also their resale value is really good as well. Um, but yeah, but obviously if you can get an item in the sale, it's just amazing, but you do have to be quick to kind of get in there and um, know at the right time really. So yeah, I'm gonna start with the bits that I got today from Lululemon. I actually went in there to return a pair of leggings, so you know what's gonna happen if you go in. <laughs> so the first item is this, which I've already taken a tag off because I started wearing it. Um, this is a Swiftly Tech Racerback Tank 2.0 race collection. Um, so this was down from 45 pounds to 29 pounds, which I thought was really good. Um, I think it's a color tide water teal, but yeah, it's really gorgeous and I hadn't seen that um, on the website actually in terms of the sale. They have this in a few other items, a few other colours, uh, but the colours certainly weren't as nice as this. So yeah, it's a really beautiful one, I think. And then um, I love the Lululemon hair ties. The ones that I've gone for here are the glow on hair ties, which I guess would be good if you're going running in the dark or you're out and about at night time. Uh, but yeah, these are really just um, super stretchy and hold your hair in place really, really well. And obviously they leave like a little bit of a mark, but nothing much compared to, you know, your average kind of high street, um, your average high street hairband, I would say. So yeah, the first set I got, and I was excited because these were on the sale rack, but they didn't have the sale sticker. So I thought it was a mistake at first but the lady there started marking them down uh, while I was there. So there was quite a few to choose from. So these are the glow on hair ties. I don't know if it really specifies a color, but yeah, you can obviously see they're in quite luminous colors. And then the other set I got were just black, gray and white, which I thought would look really nice, uh, especially for workouts, just kind of smart colors. So yeah, that's great because I was down to my last one really. I'm not sure where my other ones have disappeared to, but they're certainly the sort of thing that just disappears when you're not looking. Um, and then yeah, everything came in a little bag, which was nice. And then moving on to Sweaty Betty. So basically I have really been looking for, a, there's two things I've been looking for, a good workout tank for yoga, Pilates or the gym. And then also I'm still trying to recreate my amazing Sweaty Betty leggings from a few years ago that I've just worn to absolute death. So um, I did actually, sorry, that's my dishwasher. <laughs> I did actually manage to find the exact pair of um, Sweaty Betty leggings, which I'll show you later, that I used to love on eBay. Someone was selling them and they'd hardly been worn. So I have invested in those, which I feel good about to be reunited with, with my absolute favorite style. But the first thing that I bought from Sweaty Betty were the all day seven, eight leggings. Um, so I think these are probably the closest to that style that they used to sell that I'm looking for. So the ones that I liked originally are called, um, I think, reversible yoga leggings or Chandrasana leggings. But yeah, they just don't exist anymore. So if anybody was a fan of those and is looking for something similar, these seem a really good bet. They're not um, reversible. So I am missing that kind of double sided thickness that I think was a big selling point of the other style. But um, yeah, when I put these on, they're just super comfortable, stay in place. They're a really nice length. You know, they fit well around the ankles. I think that's something that can be quite challenging. Like I tried out some Gymshark ones recently. And I do like Gymshark, especially for tops and um, gym bras. Gym bras? Workout bras sports bras <laughs> um but yeah on me their leggings just don't look great like they fit, they fit okay around the waist but around the ankles they were quite gapy um and just didn't look nice really and then it made the quality of them not look 
brilliant when, when you wore them. Getting all my bits out in preparation. So as I say, my main mission was to find a workout tank. And I'm, whilst I really love this vest I've got here from Lululemon for going to yoga and Pilates, I really like a tank. So one that goes up to the neck, but also is not like massively gaping under the arm as well. You know, something that's quite fitted. So I feel like I found the answer with this top, which is really um, lovely. And it's also a nice length. So yeah, so this is called the Pace Setter Running Vest. And um, yeah, I've gone for it in the sea glass blue colour, um, which is my absolute favourite. I think it's, it's really lovely and vibrant. The fabric feels lovely, lightweight. I think it's going to be just something that I wear all the time. So I am going to look to get it in other colours. And I know that they do it in a pink colour, which is currently saying coming soon. And then also a green colour, um, which I haven't opened yet, but I feel... It's maybe, I don't love it quite as much as the blue, but um, again, it's another really nice, vibrant colour. I really like the fabric style on the back. It's got some like really nice texture to it. So this one is in vivid green. So I actually bought this in both a large and an extra large to try out because they're relatively fitted. And for me, I want something quite loose fitting when I'm doing yoga. And whilst I'm normally like a size 12 or 14, I have quite a long torso. And so I tend to go for I tend to size, so I tend to size up in tanks, to be honest, because then you just have, I just feel like I'm better covered and it, it covers my bum. And so next up, I wanted to try some of their other leggings. So these are the power leggings, again, in the seven, eight length. Um, and these come, these are in a floral print. These come in loads of different colours. I think the, the power leggings are one of their most popular styles. Um, it's also got a pocket on it. Uh, which is really nice and I do love the pattern on these it's really lovely especially for summer but yeah I just don't find them as comfortable as the all-day leggings so I'm actually not going to keep those despite my love of the colour of them and there was a deal on where if you got the leggings and a workout bra then um, it was cheaper so I did go for a set but I'm going to return the set as well so this is a power medium impact sports bra in our blue this color is really beautiful um but yeah i do like the the workout bras that sweaty betty do but this didn't feel like anything amazing um for me i do like the back of it though um but yeah i'd say i've got so many from lululemon that i'm not really in need of workout bras so i'm not gonna justify just keeping the the bra and obviously it'd be a lot more expensive and less value for money than if I had wanted to keep the leggings and, and to have it as a set. So the final item, which I would say is also one of my favorites is um, this rucksack from Sweaty Betty. Let me just double check what it's called. So this is called the Commuter Running Backpack. So as the name suggests, it's made for running. So it's lightweight, relatively small um, compared to a lot of backpacks very nicely padded. The straps are very comfortable, but so is um, the back of it as well, which is really nice. It's not the biggest. It does say that it fits a laptop, which I'm a little bit skeptical about. I guess potentially if you have absolutely nothing else in there, you might be okay. Um, but yeah, inside you've got this separate compartment, a mesh compartment, which is nice. You've also got one of these clips where you can pop your keys and then on the outside, it's got this drawstring bit if you want to make it a bit tighter and then one drawstring pocket. So that's quite handy for, I put like my gym, my gym membership card in there. I don't go running personally. So I think as, as a person who's using it as a gym backpack, I would really appreciate having more pockets on the front and it particularly a zipped pocket. So somewhere where I can put my phone and my keys and things like that um but yeah generally it's been really good and i got this in the sale as well so rather than it being 95 pounds it was 50 something so i've been really pleased with that and it's great quality the other thing i like is it's got um on the straps two sets of clips so one at the top 
one at the bottom which again is obviously ideal for running but it's actually also really good for your back in terms of spreading the weight out just carrying a backpack in general so I think that's one of the things that makes it super comfortable but when I'm wearing it even without the clips it's just so comfortable and lightweight it's the sort of thing you can forget that you're wearing which is brilliant so yeah that's been really good um, so yeah that's everything that I've bought this month from Sweaty Betty and Lululemon I hope you enjoyed it um, I'd love to hear your favourite items and also anything that you've got your eye on or that you've recently purchased um, do leave a comment below and I will see you next time <music>